There are two things which help define the Arctic and subarctic biomes, temperature and light. What is the temperature like in the Arctic? Well, it alternates between cold and really, really cold. These pictures were taken in early summer in Alaska. In some places, the true summer growing only lasts six weeks or so. So you would think that plants and animals couldn't survive here. But there is an entire ecosystem called tundra, which does quite well. That is in part because of another important factor in the way the Arctic biome works. Light. In summer, above the Arctic Circle, there are a full 24 hours of daylight. Areas just south of the Arctic Circle get almost as much. Now remember that green plants get their energy from the sun, so 24 hours of daylight helps them grow very quickly and very well. And that is what the plants in the tundra need to do. Grow quickly. They need to take advantage of the 24 hours of daylight in summer because in winter, the area is covered with snow and gets almost no daylight at all. Tundra plants consist of mosses, lichens, grasses, and small shrubs. Animal species are just as specialized. Many arrive just in time to take advantage of the short but strong growing season and then leave the area before winter sets in. Others hibernate or find other unique ways to survive the long and brutal winters of the Arctic and subarctic. Subarctic and Arctic biomes are some of the most vulnerable areas to climate change. Living things in the Arctic and Antarctic depend on ice and snow to survive, and those are quickly being affected by our changing climate. In the winter, much of the Bering Sea freezes over completely. Once the sun comes back out in March, something amazing happens. A friend of mine took these photos of ice in the Bering Sea in April of 2006. Researchers found that as soon as the sun comes out in the Arctic in March, the ice focuses the sun like a lens and provides a perfect platform for plants to begin to grow. By the time the ice melts in the Bering Sea, the water is full of plankton, which provides food for hundreds of species of fish, birds, whale, and other mammals who migrate north to the Bering Sea to feed in summer. This same kind of thing happens all over the Arctic and subarctic. Life there depends on ice and snow. It is adapted to that environment. By the summer of 2050, Sea ice may disappear from the entire Arctic in the summertime and may disappear from some parts of the Bering Sea even in winter. What will this mean for the creatures who depend upon snow and ice at some point in their life? While creatures in the mid-latitudes can move away from the equator in search of cooler temperatures, Arctic creatures have nowhere else to go to find the environment they need. Many are at risk of extinction as the Arctic and subarctic warm.